Okay, our next uh, speaker is uh, Representative Heath, Richard Heath, from West Kentucky. Now, he's from West Kentucky, so he understands and gets the value of agriculture in this part of the state in terms of what it means to his constituents and what it means to this area. He is co-chair of the Joint Interim Ag Committee, uh, and he has helped guide this process through the House in that process. Representative Heath, we thank you for being here today. Well, good afternoon. It's an honor for me to be in Princeton today to celebrate this expansion of the University of Kentucky's presence in, in the agriculture community. You know, uh, West Kentucky is the capital of agriculture in our commonwealth, so it makes sense that we are in my region of the state today. So it's good to see so many individuals here today that have played such a key role in this effort. It's been a long time in the making. As chairman of the House Ag Committee in Frankfurt, I get to work along uh, the side guys like Senator Hornback, uh, Warren Beeler, Commissioner Quarles, uh, my other colleagues in the House and the Senate, and it's truly a team effort. As our state's uh, flagship university, the University of Kentucky is a strong leader in education in our state. Not only that, but Dr. Capilouto and his team understand the importance of a diverse education system for a healthy economy. UK's commitment to all corners of the Commonwealth is good for our state, particularly in agriculture, a critically important industry in Kentucky. We are seeing that commitment on full display here today. With the opening of this new Grain and Forage Center, our farmers in the West will have a resource working towards new innovative farm opportunities. The research done here will be critical to future ag production and will have major implications for the future of the industry. It will help inform future approaches for increasing yields for our grain producers and hopefully harness new technologies to reduce operating cost. Our farmers grow the world's food supply and it's vital that they have strong support from our state and its research institutions. This is particularly true of the grain industry, a major player in our ag economy that provides over $2 billion in economic activity and tens of thousands of jobs in Kentucky. As the leader in production of corn, soybeans, and wheat, Western Kentucky is the epicenter of this industry. This is a proud day, and it's made possible the thanks of the partnerships between the University of Kentucky and state government. The funding from the Ag Development Board, which has uh, made this project possible, is exactly the kind of uh, thing that those dollars should be used for, improving opportunities for our farmers. As a middle America state that is heavily rural, agriculture is a key player in our state's economy. It's even more important to Western Kentucky, where farming is a way of life and our roots run deep. More opportunities for job creation within the agriculture sector is, <clears throat> excuse me, is crucial to our economic development in the West. My relationship with UK goes back several decades when I farmed in the 70s and the 80s and I would send soil samples up here and tissue samples and, and they would be tested right here at this facility. So as we gather here today for a new chapter in agriculture and research, it's, with a, uh, it's very special to me to see the excellent work continue today. So I wanted to thank all of you for having me here today and I look forward to see the great work that comes from this new facility. <clears throat> 